Well, hey guys, so crazy day. Our dog is having puppies. So this is actually her fourth litter that she's had and it will be her final litter. Um, and it's a little bit of dramatics happening here. Um, so yesterday she started to show signs that she was getting ready to, um, to start having the puppies. So she was kind of nesting and um, breathing heavier. And that was around 10 o'clock in the morning. And I was nervous because my husband was at work that um, I was going to be here alone with her. Uh, and she's notorious for being sort of a lazy whelper. Um, she needs some assistance sometimes. And um, anyways, it just takes her a long time to have puppies. So around midnight last night, she hadn't had any puppies. But her breathing was getting quite a bit heavier. And about the middle of the night, she had her first puppy. So around like 3 in the morning, she had her first puppy. Uh, and it was born. It was still born. So that was sad. Um, and then it was around 10 in the morning, and she still had not had another puppy. So uh, Shane took her to the vet to see, you know, what was going on. Um, and the fear was, you know, maybe that there would be, um, you know, more stillborn puppies at some point. Uh, anyways, so they did go ahead and give her an x-ray and an ultrasound, and it showed that there were between nine and ten puppies in our dog. <laughs> um, and so with the one that was stillborn, that would make it up to 11 puppies. So, um, they were thinking of giving her a C-section because she, um, because it's just a lot of, a lot of puppies and because she is kind of a lazy whelper, um, there just was a lot of risk to the puppies as well as to her. So, um, after they gave her the x-ray, a puppy was born. Um, and so she came home with the puppy and with our dog, B. And um, they've been home now for about an hour or so, and she's had two more puppies. So I'm going to just kind of vlog this and share with you um, our little journey of our puppies being born. Um, I'm not going to show you them actually being born because I can't even watch that myself. Um, but I'll kind of show you them in their state that they are now as brand new little babies. Um, and then we'll see if she ends up having to get a C-section. So I'll bring you guys along and we'll watch this miracle unfold. So here's the little mama looking tired and ragged. She's got two little puppies here and then this one up by her head. What a cuddle bug. Anything you want to say? And seven more to go. Hawk. Okay, where's Hawk? He has two dots on his side. One on each side. So this one? Mm hmm. So what's the other one? I remember the girl with. Now the one beside Hawk is Willie. And then the other one is a girl, and what's her name? Susie, okay. If another one comes in. Ooh, oh, I can see one's face. I can see their face. 
Her face is so cute. Oh. You should switch your towels. Yeah, I'm going to. Hi. I was going to wash those ones. Well, I need regular towels washed. Daddy. First. Daddy. Like that? Oh, B. Oh, they're hugging each other. B. Mm -hmm. That's so funny. B, lay down. I'm so gentle. Yeah. Remember the day I petted Pepsi? Oh, that one's gentle. Oh, who's this? Oh, you don't know who this is? That's Scarlet. I think she really likes their, her babies. Yeah. Oh, Scarlet rolled over! She's on her. Okay, so it is quarter to four and I am heading out to the tractor supply store to pick up a heat lamp bulb for the heat lamp for the dog. So they will um, be in a wooden uh, well paint box and I'll show you a picture of that um, later. But um, so up above they have a heat lamp that will keep them nice and roasty toasty warm. And so I need to get a bulb for ours because Shane can't seem to find the bulbs that he thought he had on hand. So that is going to be about an hour and a half of my day. It'll be about a half hour into town, half hour back, maybe a little less, and then to be in the store. And I'm also going to be right next to this store. It's like a, it's a liquidation store, but they have a lot of Target merchandise there. So it's just right next door. So I'm going to pop in there for a few minutes um, and see what they have. Uh, that's kind of my treat to myself because my husband is leaving tomorrow to go to a field trial. So our dogs are English Springer Spaniels and they are, um, they are hunting dogs and they are in these things called field trials where they, um, are judged for how they, um, retrieve birds and all kinds of things so they're competition hunting dogs is what they are um and so he's got a field trial so i will be home with 11 dogs 10 puppies one dog and the other four dogs that we own will be with my husband and they will be gone all weekend so if she happens to have a c-section that will be fun for me um with a two-year-old and a five-year-old so that's a little look at my next few days so I'm gonna scoot out and put on a podcast and enjoy the drive well I'm home now it is 10 to 6 and it took me oh my gosh 50 minutes to get home with rush hour traffic um the kids have eaten and there were three puppies that were born while I was gone so I am just gonna get um, the kiddos a bath and then I will show you the newest pups so we just, um, we have six puppies now, and one was just born, and it was still born, so we've lost, we've lost two. So, um, we really missed that puppy. Yeah, that was pretty sad. You were here watching, huh? Yeah, and there was already a baby puppy born. Yeah. Well, hey friends, so it's about 8.30 this evening, and um, we had another puppy that was born, so my husband can feel one more, um, and that should be it. Um, so it's 8.30, he's been up, we both had a really sleepless night last night, him probably a little bit more than I did, um, so he'll probably be going to bed in the next Oh, I don't know, hour and a half or so. So hopefully she does have the puppy before then. Um, he has a field trial tomorrow over the weekend. So he will actually be out of town. <laughs> and so I get to be the one to make sure all the puppies, like, 
are happy and healthy and good. So hopefully that is the case. Um, I just get nervous that she's going to lay on a puppy and, um, you know, suffocate it or something. So, um, this is her fourth litter, and this will be her final litter. So she is a, um, a champion, uh, trial dog, so, um, she's got really good lines in her, and, uh, she's, um, people want her puppies. <laughs> so this is going to be her final breeding, though. Um, we spaced it out over, like, a few years, and to give her plenty of time just to, you know, be a dog and do the things she loves. Um, so, anyways, uh, all of that to say... We have got puppies. And not to forget that we also have, not counting B, we have four other English Springer Spaniels. Sorry, three English Springer Spaniels and one Cocker Spaniel. So, all together right now, we have uh, 12 dogs, I think. 13. I'm. I can't. There's so many. There's so many. So many. Um, yeah. We had kind of joked, um, Aubrey had guessed that there were 15 puppies um, from like, uh, what's that movie called? 101 Dalmatians. And we kept going, 15 puppies. And if all of them had, um, if the one who had just not, the one who just passed away, if that one had stayed alive, we would have 15 dogs under our roof tonight. So, that's crazy. So, anyways, um, I will check in again once another one is born. And if there are any new developments, I'm really glad we didn't have to get her a C-section. I'm just, I'm glad that she's just kind of delivered naturally. Um, it's better for her and it's better for all involved. So, anyways... I'll check in in a bit. Well, hey guys. So, our dog had her final couple puppies late last night. The last one came, I was already in dreamland. So, Shane had stayed up with our dog to make sure that she delivered well. And she did. So, um, in total, there are nine live puppies and two that um, were born, were stillborn. So, there were 11 in total. So I'm just getting ready to feed her, our dog, this evening. So we are feeding her three times a day, and each time she gets uh, cottage cheese mixed in with her food and a little bit of water. Um, she is a really quick eater, so we have always moistened her food a bit with water, so um, it was just easier to chew for her. So anyways, I am going to go feed her. She doesn't really seem to want to go outside. She hasn't been outside in a few hours. Um, but she's kind of nursing the puppy, so I'll take you in and I'll show you everything. So here is her whelping box. It's a four foot tall one with a uh, cover on top and there is the lamp here. And if you hear that noise, that is that's her. She's eating her meal. Um, and so there is a board here on the bottom so that the puppies can't get out. And once they get to that point where they're ready to start climbing out of this box, um, my husband will put up uh, a taller board so that they can't do that. So he's put this piping around. I think he's been calling it a pig rail. Um, so basically what that does is that if she leans up against the side here, she is only... Um, the puppies can crawl kind of underneath, so there is really not that much of a risk of her um, laying on them or squishing them in between the walls. So this is a safety feature. So look at them all piled up over there. So I actually am going to change out this bedding and lay down something clean and fresh. So I'm going to have to move all those little guys and lay that out. They're so tiny and cute. Oh my goodness. mama we had to laugh today because when my husband fed her she looked like she was emaciated her uh, belly was just so small compared to what it had looked like um, previously so 
Anyways, I'm going to see if she wants to go out and then I'm going to switch out this bed. And there she is. All the babies are back. That was a bit of a feat just trying to get um, all of that switched out. But they are back with Mama and hopefully it will be a nice good evening for them. So I am going to sign off. And that is it for our puppy adventures for the time being. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry, I'm kind of out of breath. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And feel free to leave a comment down below. Ask any questions that you may need. And I hope you guys have a good night. Bye.